Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what these are all about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome and welcome back everyone. This week uh, we had Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. Um, so I hope you had a happy Halloween, a happy Dia de los Muertos. Um, so that's our theme, Halloween and um, Day of the Dead. So this week I'm using the Villains Tarot. This is my sister's deck. It's, it's really awesome. D Villains from Disney. Also her uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. I really like this deck, so I borrowed it from her as well. Also, another one I borrowed from my sister, uh, Talking to Heaven by James Von Prague. This is when the veil, what's left of it, I feel like it's been dropping or fading away since 2012, but this is when the veil between worlds, between the dead and the living, um, is thinnest. That's why we have Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. So we're, we've got this deck out, but what it has been saying continuously is that when we speak to spirits, it's not just those who have passed on, it's living people too. Like our spirits all live in the same dimension. Okay, and at the end, I'm going to be pulling a card or two from the Mother Mary Oracle because of Dia de los Muertos, which is a Mexican holiday, and I am of Mexican descent. I'm very close with Mother Mary, and she, um, so she is part of our read today. All right, so thank you so much for being here with me, guys. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I am only on three social media platforms. Here on YouTube, I post these YouTube videos on my personal Facebook wall, and I do summaries of these readings and put those up on TikTok. So welcome, welcome, welcome if you're here from TikTok. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I just hit 1,200 subscribers, and I am so excited about that. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it is so exciting to see those numbers go up. Also, thank you all so much. Um, the welcome that I have gotten from TikTok has been awesome. I'm getting new followers every day. I get lots of likes. So please don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to like and keep that going for me. It's just it's really positive um, to see those types of things for me. So please don't forget to like. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, I love your comments. Let me know how this resonates for you. Um, any questions as well and you know I might be able to address that in the next reading or who knows so just give me a comment if you share my videos I appreciate it so much thank you guys so much whether you're subscribed or you follow me or not if you are watching me right now I am very grateful for your presence may you be blessed also thank you so much um, for all um, well for, for everything I, I'm sorry guys I just lost my train of thought um, I do offer personal readings for purchase. If you would like one, you could um, message me on Messenger or send me an email at the email address in the description box below this video. Also, if you would like to leave me a donation or a tip, my PayPal link is in the description box below. Also, for my books, guys, I did read uh, book one aloud. I have those videos recorded. I have a lot of good stuff, even from other um, content providers. So check out the description box. All right. Scorpio, what's going on? What is going... Wow. No. Okay. That was a boo-boo. I heard boo-boo. Scorpio. Okay. There's the one. Oh, it's okay to flip it, they said. Okay. The four of wands in the reverse. That's happiness, happy, harmonious home. Oh, look, there you are. Queen of Cups upright and judgment in the reverse. So a decision has not been made yet. It is not time yet. Um, but you are looking good. You are looking beautiful. Um, very, uh, very much in your own energy. Um, you're being hecka psychic. Let's see what's what's up with this harmonious home that is not as happy as it could be, which is why it's in the reverse. The two of pentacles, because 
you're having to balance. You're going back and forth. Sometimes this is borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Maybe where you're living is a little too expensive for you and you're happy, but you're having to uh, manage your money um, in a way where, you know, you may not be borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, but this is what you're doing. You're, you're doing this difficult dance. This is why um, you're not as happy as you could be. You just want two pennies to rub together, I just heard from this two of coins. Two pennies to rub together. Like, maybe you pay all your bills, but then you just don't have any money left after. What's going on underneath the Queen of Cups? She's feeling good. She's feeling... Oh, because you're the Empress. Oh, heck yeah, you know you've got an abundance. You know you've got a happy, harmonious home. You just don't have as much money as you like. However, you're very grateful. You know that you have the money to do this. And so you feel abundant. You feel beautiful. You feel uh, psychic. You feel awesome. That's great. That's really great. And the chariot. Okay. No, they said you can go ahead and just put it upright because there's a judgment. There's a decision that is going to be made and it's going to be a big one. And when you make that, you are going to be completely victorious. Um, now, okay. Now, okay. So the two of coins is being off balance a lot of the time. It takes a lot to stay in balance. Okay. They are balanced. A lot of the times you'll see someone standing on one leg and trying to juggle these two pentacles, okay? Um, so this is fighting to stay balanced, whereas this is balanced um, in such a way in mind, body, and soul that you are completely victorious. You move forward. You've got your masculine and feminine energies in balance, and you are able to move forward quickly. Anything in your way gets mowed over. The old tanks of the past were the chariots. Nothing gets in the way of a tank or a chariot. Um, that's kind of why we got Cruella de Vil here. She's just going to mow you down, right? Um, but this is a good victory. This is such a victory for you. It's just not time yet, okay? Now, for some of you, there may be a judgment that is negative to you. What if say, maybe if you lived in, a, in an apartment or something, maybe there's a decision that is made against you. You, if, if this is something like being um, evicted or they're not fixing something or, you know, some sort of judgment, any kind of judgment that goes against you is only going to bring you tremendous victory. Okay, so whether or not this is a, a judgment against you or you haven't made this decision yet, there is going to be a tremendous victory because like I said, it came out sideways and they said, no, 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 right side up. Bottom of the deck here, we've got the eight of wands in the reverse. There has been no communication regarding this yet, but you feel it. You feel it. I know you can feel this coming in because you are so psychic, but there has been no communication in some way here. All right, let's see what the Queen of the Moon Oracle wants to tell you about this. There's something about Rapunzel's hair here that's flowing both here and in her mirror self and the flowing that has uh, Sir Hiss here. Um, the flow, the flow of the, well, what flows? Water, your water. Go with the flow. Go with the flow and you'll move faster and go with the flow with this judgment. Whatever it is, if it's a negative judgment, just go with it, they're saying. Because to this little bit of flow, to this uh, lots of flow here, there you go. That's the movement. Wow. Okay. 
Sometimes I feel like my guides or your guides are going, it's this, this, no, this, look at this. Okay, that's, oh, she got it. Yay. <laughs> All right, Queen of the Moon, Oracle. What... Wow, that's almost rude when I'm not talking, when I'm not finished talking, but I, I love that when they come out so quickly. Okay, self-love. Yeah, this, and I put this right here on the Empress. It even looks like the Empress. It looks like Empress energy here. <clears throat> pardon me six is the number of love but this is about self-love your self-love queen of cups loving yourself looking at yourself in the mirror knowing that you're absolutely awesome um this self-love is what's bringing this ginormous 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 victory in wow nourishment yeah you've been nourishing yourself okay You've been nourishing yourself in this happy, harmonious home that isn't as happy as harmonious as you would like, but it is happy and harmonious. You've been keeping it going. You've been really happy. You've been very abundant. And it's because of your self-love. You've nourished your garden of life, which is you. You've nourished the aspects of yourself that wanted to come out. Look at how this is like pretty much the same moon here. But this moon is a moon of cheese. And, and what is coming down from it, it kind of looks like milk, but it's actually water. Um, look at, what is that, a piece of bread? Oh, yeah, because this is the nourishment card, duh. She's holding, like, fruit and stuff. So this is Empress energy, definitely, okay? So I feel like your guides are saying very strongly, oh, yeah, look at the long blonde hair, the flow of Rapunzel's hair and of this uh, empress energy of self-love. Waxing crescent. Yeah, this energy is building. Yeah, there's. That, I feel like your guides are giving you a huge pat on the back, Scorpio. You've been doing such a good job. I've, I've, I'm really proud of you. Now, let's see what we can get here. Some of you, this Empress energy may also, and I'm not saying that only, also may represent someone in your life who is an Empress as well. It could be a Libra. It could be a Taurus. Those are the two energies that are um, in the Empress card, but it doesn't have to be just a Libra or a Taurus, okay? It could be an, another person who has a lot of, feminine and um, energy and self-respect and love and abundance and all kinds of stuff. But I really feel like for most of you, this is you. And, you know, even if this is you, this there could be someone else. So it's just straight up you, whether you have someone else in your life who is an empress or not. You, you are in empress energy right now. The empress would have a chariot, would she not? She would have a bunch of them. You are a queen and an empress. You are so flippin' royal. You are so balanced. It, it doesn't even matter if, if negative shit comes your way. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. So whether they're passed on or not, you've got loved ones who really want to talk. They're saying that, okay, the earth is our school. This has been coming out constantly. The big message from this is saying, we come here to earth to learn things, Okay. And um, in the last reading, which was cancer, it was so cool because it was saying that um, there is no time where we are, the spirits, okay? And then the earth is our school. So the message there was like, what do children do? During the daytime, they go to school. And then at night, they go home. Well, during the daytime, <clears throat> pardon me, when we're awake, we're at our school. When we're asleep, I feel we go home. And we spend dream time, we spend time with other spirits in our spirit realm, or, or maybe it's a realm that we can visit others in, okay? But um, it's just like children, they go to school during the day, they go home at night, and so we spend time with our uh, spirit friends that way. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you, okay? So this could be a passed on loved one, but it, this is another card that could be from someone who is living. Um, you have nothing to feel guilty about. This is, yeah, I am really feeling a passed on loved one here. 
Uh, it's not your fault. Wow. There's a lot of guilt here. Okay. Now, because of this, the earth is our school. And because these really, really go together, I'm feeling. Um, wow. Because you have nothing to feel guilty about. It's not your fault. This may have, this might as well be like a sentence. And, and then I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. I feel like they're saying that they wish they had told you how awesome you are so that you wouldn't have felt like this in the first place. Yeah, this is a sentence. This is um, not a sentence. This is, this is a flowing message, a flowing message. Turning the pages in the book. Yeah. Wow. All right, Mother Mary, what would you like to tell Scorpio? Yeah, self-love, okay? So you have nothing to feel guilty about. It's not your fault. I feel like these are two things left in your head that still bother you. You are already on this self-love journey. You've already been nourishing yourself. So I feel like this person is saying these feelings are still there. Look at them. Look at this negative judgment and move on. Wow. Wow. Oh, I just, I just got goosebumps. All right. Okay. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? What would you like to say, Mother? Mother Mary, Queen of Heaven, what would you like to say? Our Lady of Guadalupe, what would you like to say? Wow, anything else? Okay. Our Lady of the Rose Child. This is, I haven't read this in the book, but what I'm feeling from this is you're going to know right off the bat who this person is. Could even be a person named Rose. But this has, this could have something to do with um, a child. But this has been mostly saying that you, there is such potential for you to become this beautiful new rose. Roses. Yeah, the roses here. The roses here. Now they're showing me. These aren't roses, but they're being lumped. Oh, yeah, there's roses. Oh, they're showing me all the roses. Oh, wow. Okay, so even Sleeping Beauty with her long flowing hair, she had the roses around her. What? Okay, all right, there's show flowers in the hair. Okay, guys. Yeah, look at this. The flowers in the hair. This is Empress energy. Our Lady of Nourishment. Okay, guys, you can't make this up. Look, this is nourishment and Our Lady of Nourishment. They, they're saying continue to nourish yourself in your self love because that is what brings about the roses that's what brings about the flowers and the fruits and 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 the whole harvest whatever it is our lady of love and our lady of sacred waters okay that's you and this is your empress energy guys so I feel like what Mary is saying with the rose to continue to nourish you, the aspects of you that are going to come out, whether it's a flower or fruit or, or a child or a project, continue to nourish yourself because you are the lady of sacred waters. You are very beautiful. Look at all the purple roses on her. Look, she's even purple like Ursula, guys. 
Uh, Ursula's hair is white. She's wearing this white thing. Oh, she's got blonde, long blonde hair like like Rapunzel here. I mean, this this lady, I mean, just look at the, the similarities here, this oval shape and the mirror. Um, I, I just can't. So they're saying that you are very much the Queen of Cups, um, the High Priestess energy. You are beautiful. Everybody loves you. You are so psychic. Um, that's you. She's she's saying you're doing a really good job with yourself and Our Lady of Love. Um, this self love journey has brought you this abundance. It has brought you this ability to nourish yourself. So. I feel like these two cards, uh, she's saying these are accomplishments, guys. You are very accomplished, Scorpio. And you, you're going to continue to grow because you continue to nourish yourself like one would nourish plants. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful reading. And, and where do plants come from? They come from the earth. Okay, wow. And, earth, and what I meant by that, is that earth is our school. So we are nourishing ourselves to become, uh, when we leave this place, I'm hearing, uh, the spirits are saying, when we leave this place, that's when we are the rose. That's when we are the fruit. Not here on the planet, because we never get to a place where we're done learning. We're only done learning on earth. When we pass on, and this is what you are, spirit-wise. This is, this is where you are spirit-wise, Scorpio. You, you are being very, you're, you're learning these lessons and you've become very accomplished. You, I feel like you're getting some degrees uh, from, from Earth. You know, like if you go to college and you get a degree, you, you've gotten a couple of them here, a few of them here on this planet so that when you pass on, these will be your degrees. These will be your fruits. Your the reason you're, you're just doing a fantastic job. Okay, I think I have gone on enough about that. I'm so proud of you guys, Scorpio. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. I sure did, and I'll see you next time.